Hey guys, Brian with Buffalo Beer Reviews. Back with something a little bit different after all these months. I have something from Alma Gang today, and this has been in my basement uh, dwelling for the last year. I bought it after it was already a year old, so this is the 2020 version of the Double Barrel Dubel from Alma Gang. This is a this is a bourbon and brandy barrel aged Belgian Dubel. This clocks in at 11 percent. A couple of things from Untapped. It says the Double Barrel Dubel pours deep mahogany, velvety tan head. It's got aromas of vanilla, molasses, sugar, dark stone fruit, accompanied by notes of bourbon and oak from the barrels. Right. Uh, said the flavor is complex blend of toffee, chocolate, brandy soaked raisins. Um, full body mouthfeel resolves to a lingering sweetness resulting in a delightfully decadent drinking experience. Um, I took this out of the refrigerator uh, probably about 25 minutes ago. It says um, serve at 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So let's see what this thing looks like. tell from the sweat on the glass that it's uh it's warmed up appropriately it is um a little on the warm side out so i'm expecting it to be ready to go i believe i'm gonna have enough room in this glass for my nose and let the aromatics go yeah again this is oma gang's double barrel dubel let's see what this thing looks like huh so yeah I mean, right off of the uh, right off the bat, you can tell it's got this really great dark brown mahogany-looking body to it. It's really uh, nicely well carbonated, deeply carbonated after all these years. And oh my lord, you get all sorts of of wonderfully complex bourbon in there. Little bits of of the brandy as well. Nothing seems to be overwhelming. Nothing seems to be that that really harsh like alcohol licory sort of vapory um nose do you know what i mean but yeah this is great i definitely get hints of vanilla i'm not quite sure if that's just being on my mind playing tricks on me when it comes to the the barrel aging process do you know what i mean and definitely like an overall sweet sort of vibe a dark sweet vibe uh, if you want to call it the molasses if you want to call it that that raisin sort of of flavor and aroma i'll play ball with that you know what i mean but when you're talking about an 11 percent um beer that you've been um kind of aging for two years or sitting on for two years this is a this is a great start so far do you know let's see how this thing tastes right hmm Mm. Well, I'll tell you what. The mouthfeel is wonderful right off the bat. You get this great little coating of, it's a luxurious sort of beer, right? You get, you definitely get like that raisin vibe. You definitely get that toffee raisin vibe. Um, definitely. I don't know about the bourbon soaked raisin. Uh, that's not really my thing. Um, and they talked about some, um, chocolate and I'm not really getting any sort of chocolate vibe on this either. I don't know if that's the age. I don't know if some of these, uh, notes were more apparent in a newer beer, but, uh, yeah, the, the chocolate, uh, the bourbon, uh, the bourbon soaked raisins. I don't know if that's, if that's just a description when you're talking about raisin-esque flavors with a bourbon uh, barrel, but hmm. This is all sorts of different for me. This is one of those beers that has, you know, it's been aged in two different barrels. So the blend, if you will, is um, it's kind of a little bit of this and it's a little bit of that. So you got you got me going both different ways. The mouth feels awesome. Um, 
the 11 percent sort of drinkability of this is is it's an easy 11 percenter to drink um it's liquid smooth in the mouth the flavors are on point the aromas there's no harsh vapors there's no harsh alcohol sort of presence um even the this um aftertaste that they were talking about uh says um you know this full-bodied mouthfeel resolves into a lingering sweetness and i completely agree with that um it's a it's something hard to kind of verbalize like that but you have all these big rich and complex flavors that you just drank and they they kind of subside into this really nice pleasant coating in your mouth um, sweet coating in your mouth nothing is unpleasant uh, you can't really pinpoint one or the other sort of um, flavors and it's awesome and you're ready for the next sip I feel like the the deeper that your nose goes into that glass you're gonna get greeted a little bit more readily with with the bourbon uh, barrel sort of nose um, but still the drinking experience is the same uh, I'm happy with this I wish Maybe I had, uh, I wish maybe it was about five degrees cooler. I, I suspect that um, it warmed up a little bit quicker than I anticipated with me setting up the camera and the laptop and everything and getting ready to drink, you know, on, on, the, on film. And that is what it is. Um, this is a wonderful beer. Uh, I, did, I did plan ahead and I do have two of them, which is really great. I can kind of sit back and relax and, and enjoy the second one without having to, you know, drink half of it on camera. You know what I mean? This is a yes for me. I do believe they have a newer version of the Double Barrel Duvel. If you guys are in and around the uh, Cooperstown sort of neck of New York, um, I believe the newer versions are around 9, 9.9%. Um, but nonetheless, uh, they're still continuing this beer, just not the 2020 version that you see here. It'd be appropriate, wholly appropriate to, um, put it in the basement, age for another year and visit it, uh, after another year in the basement, like I did. Uh, I have a couple that I've aged, um, a couple of, uh, bigger beers that I've aged and this just seemed to fit the, the, uh, theme of the beers that I was aging at the time. So... Uh, this complete yes for me. Um, this is not going to be a hard beer to finish, uh, but you know how it is. It's it's 11 percent, and I'll sip on it for a little while. But that's it for me. Um, first uh, first review back after you know four, five, six months of hiatus uh, with some other endeavors uh, started in my life. So maybe we can uh, pick up where I left off in this video and keep this uh, the reviews rolling. Do you know what I mean? Um, any comments or questions, you guys know I love that stuff. Uh, leave me a comment, hit that thumbs up, um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.